It's spring, and as we look forward to the April showers to bring May flowers, there's something else that's going to be falling from the sky soon. A space station. It's China's first space station, Tiangong-1, or in English, Heavenly Palace. It was launched on September 30th, 2011. And while it's guaranteed to re-enter the atmosphere, even if some of its debris survives re-entry, it'll probably land in the ocean. Tiangong-1 is the prototype for China's space program, and it launched weight 18,740 pounds. It's 34 feet long and 11 feet in diameter and has solar panels on either side. It was originally designed to be a livable lab for docking and orbital experiments and to eventually become a larger space station with multiple modules. But on March 16, 2016, China reported to the United Nations that they had lost telemetry services and couldn't control the station any longer. The Aerospace Corporation says that as it has been for a while, Tiangong-1 remains in a decaying orbit. That means as its altitude slowly decreases, its descent towards Earth rapidly increases. And when it reaches Earth's upper atmosphere shortly, the space station will make an uncontrolled re-entry. And the European Space Agency says the current estimated re-entry window is any time from midday Saturday to early Sunday afternoon UTC time. But that's still highly variable. When it does finally come in, one thing is certain. If you're lucky enough to be able to see it, the light show should be spectacular. But be aware that just in case, if any Tiangong-1 debris makes it to the ground, it might be carrying or be made up of very toxic materials. And experts advise against touching any space debris or breathing in any vapors it may release. So keep up with the updates and be ready to look up for a rare chance to see sparkling fire in the sky. For Weather Nation, I'm John Van Pelt.